So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and we are going to be talking about Vanguard Zombies. So, a lot of you have already been kind of sitting around and contemplating your thoughts on Vanguard Zombies. Love it or hate it, you already have it in your mind that you want to unlock Dark Aether just so you can show it off. Or, perhaps you're looking at weapons that you're one attachment short from being able to use it and make it viable in multiplayer, but you're kind of done getting your ass handed to you by the MP40 and the S2G. So now you turn to this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make this as quick and painless as possible, and I'll tell you at what point you can click away. So how this works is you're going to want to find the harvest objective on Vanguard Zombies. Now, this can appear as early as the very first round and sometimes even later, but all you're going to want to do is just find any of them, whether it's the one with the windmill is always going to be a good one to run or the one that you see me running right now. These have it that zombies will spawn in one of a few places. You're going to want to do the first two obelisks Get them out of the way, and then when you get to the final one, just hold out for as long as you'd like, get as many kills as you'd like, get as much XP as you like. Now notice in the title I say efficient. Now this is not something that's exactly going to take, you know, five minutes. This is something that you're going to have to, you know, kick your feet up, do it with a friend, talk for a little while, laugh it up, because this is pretty much guaranteed to just have you leveling up weapons leveling up attachments if you're missing headshots you're gonna get it and within no time if you already have the gun leveled up from playing multiplayer you pretty much walk right into this and the best part is if you get lucky like i did and do it on the very first round the weapon's guaranteed to just destroy everything it's nice a slow steady process and you just crank stuff out now if this bores you after a while you can complete the objective and then do it again at your own leisure What's better yet is sometimes you end up in places like the one that you see me in right now where I can actually buy one of the perks and max it out right off the start. What's better yet is a lot of you go, oh, this is good for camel grind. What's better yet is this can also set you up for the later rounds. You can use this for getting points so that you can pretty much buy out and max out all of the fountains right off the bat being able to max out the Pack-a-Punch to the highest tier if you really feel like sitting and going for it. And honestly, this puts you in a good spot that you can run high. Do I want to still call them rounds? Eh, I'll still call them rounds. Being able to run high rounds on the Rang Fang as we pretty much enjoy this first week of Vanguard. Now, love it or hate it, this is definitely one of the most efficient ways to actually get Call of Duty Vanguard camos, as well as leveling up weapons and leveling up should you decide to take a break from multiplayer. So leave a comment down below, what's your quickest way of unlocking the camos in Vanguard Zombies? Is there a more efficient way? If there is, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear other ways. That way we can all work together to get that Dark Aether camo. So if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And to all of you out there, you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you are doing, do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.